Hey hello and welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to do animation with bottom navigation. So while we uh, scroll this layout, as you can see, our bottom navigation gets hidden. And if we scroll it again at reverse side, it again appears. So this type of animation we are going to create in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. last tutorial i created this beautiful bottom navigation bar if you had not watched that video please watch it out i'll give a link in the description and now we are going to perform this animation uh, in the same project that we used in the last video so please watch that out after that in order to do animation on that bottom navigation bar we need to clear a create a handler and this is my handler in this handler i extend the coordinator layout with some behavior and i pass the my bottom navigation bar to this after that, I had overridden four, uh, three methods here and I had created two different methods. So basically, what these three methods do? One of the, uh, it is on start nested scroll. Whenever we start scrolling our uh, layout, then whichever layout it may be, the circular view or any scroll, nested scroll view, any layout, whenever we scroll this, it takes the x and y axis of our screen and according to that, it makes it hidden. As you can see, in this if else condition, we are taking x and x, y and x axis of our screen and we are calling the method. Whenever we scroll something, at that time, it animates my bottom navigation view to hide it. And whenever we scroll our layout at upside, it again makes it visible. So in this way, it handler works. And if you go to our main activity and we go to XML file, in this XML file, the only change I had did is I changed the parent layout from the relative layout to coordinator layout. In order to perform this animation, the parent layout should be parent layout of this layout should be an coordinator layout. So for this, I change this to coordinator layout. This is only the change which I did in XML file. After that, if you go to main file, here this is my uh, bottom navigation bar, and uh, I had added to, uh, these two lines. First one is coordinator layout. I had took the layout parameters of this parent layout. Sorry. I had uh, took the layout parameter, layout params of this parent layout and and uh, attach it to the bottom navigation pa parameters and then I had passed this uh, layout param uh, I had set the behavior of this layout param to my scroll handler so after adding these two lines uh, your animation will work fine let's run this project and see whether it works fine or not so in order to create a, this beautiful animation, you just need to add this handler file into the project and these two lines of code. And this will make your project run. So our project is up and running. And as you can see, whenever I scroll my layout, the bottom navigation bar gets hidden. And whenever I scroll upside, it again appears. So in this way you can do perform this animation so that's all for today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching